Hello and welcome to Rune Factory 5, where I am just getting ready to go out there and um, get us some more monster friends. I think I'm going to need to eat this. Time to eat! Because uh, the brushing that I'm going to have to do a lot of is going to take some RP. And I, um, I want to have my RP bar full, just in case. So, the first monster friend that we are going after here is the chaka doodle so um that's the black chicken there are two kinds of uh, chicken like monsters in this game the clock -a doodle and the chuck -a doodle and if I interpret what the internet says correctly they should both produce eggs when uh, when tamed yes, yes. and of course I also want to get these gems and minerals yes, yes. Nice. just makes it makes sense to do that while we're here. All right. Yes. All right. So the chakadoodle, nice. the black nice. chicken, should be found here in the depths of the right. calve nice. lava caves. The guide didn't say exactly where, but I'm sure we'll find one. It's not like this area is a challenge to us anymore. So it's going to be pretty um pretty quick for us to move around in here and explore. Ah, oh, these squirrels are cute too, though. Hmm. I may want to come back here at some point and get us um, one of these as well. Alright. What do we have here? More squirrels and frogs and one lone woolly. liquid but the drops are not exactly why we're here anyway oh there's something what is it oh what is that some sort of a gem I do want to catch one of each type of flower as well at some point. I just need to figure out um, what they like. I mean, they are plants, so maybe they like herbs. Hmm. 
at least they should like the things that plants drop. Because usually monsters do like. Oh, hello. There's our prize. The uh, monster we're after. There, 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 there. Um, yeah, usually uh, there, monsters there. do like the things that they themselves yes. drop. So, um, for example, the clockadoodles and chuckadoodles should like eggs. There, there, but there, there, I know that they there, also there, like herbs. So I'm there, going there, to see there, if there, I can use the herbs I picked up. There. Was that a heart or um I know that the second symbol we saw was a skull, meaning that my effort failed. But was the first symbol a heart or a skull? I didn't see. The first symbol tells you whether the item you're offering the monster is something that they like, so something that can result in them getting tamed if it's a heart Ouch. like that the taming effort can be successful using that item <laughs> but if it's a skull then it's an item that the monster doesn't like And there we go. A heart and a heart. Nugget is okay. I'm just going to go with the default names because uh, the character limit is ridiculously small. And there we go. We now have a white chicken and a black chicken. But I don't have any more herbs with me. They do like potions as well though. Hmm, maybe I should go back home and get some more herbs. And in any case, I'm not a hundred percent sure that the chocodoodles do produce eggs. So maybe just taming one of them for now is um, the best bet. We'll see over the next few days um, what it produces and uh, then based on that we'll decide if we want to tame another one. I was also thinking that I would like to have several several rooms in this monster barn here. Oh, it produced yes. a feather. I'm hoping that it's like um, a chance or as some sort of a percent chance for it to produce an egg or a feather. But if not... Well, feathers can be useful, of course. But, um... Hmm. I really do want more monsters who produce eggs because they are very useful in cooking and I, I do keep running out of RP every now and then so having cooked food that can um, restore quite a lot of RP like for example the flan is going to be very useful So I would like to have a few chickens that produce eggs 
and a few um, buffamoos that produce milk. Because apparently of the buffalo-like creatures, which there are a few in this game, of all of those buffalo-like creatures, the buffamoo is the only one that produces milk. The others produce different stuff like uh, horns or um, I think fur was listed on one of them as well. Um, I don't really remember at this point anymore. But um, I do want to catch a few more buffamoos today. And they do like herbs, so um, I'm just choosing some herbs here to take with me and um, offer the buffamoos once I have brushed them. The brushing gives you a better chance of taming. Um, and uh, the chance increases with each kind of a, uh, with each time you brush the monster until the brushing no longer produces the musical notes effect on the monster. So as long as the brushing produces those musical notes from the monster, um, it's effective and increases your chances of successfully catching it. And once the brushing no longer produces those musical notes, then you have reached the uh, max or the uh, cap of the bonus you can have to your catching chances till 2 p.m. today. Oh, it's about to close. I want to add one more room You're a brilliant ball of sunshine today. to our monster barn on the Earth Dragon. Whimsical welcome! It does cost more than building a separate monster barn, but Please I would rather add a room to the current one that we have. Please take your time. Find everything you need and a few things you didn't. So what I want to do is I want to just keep one kind of monster in each room. So let's go and sort that out on the Earth Dragon here. So far, I've kept both the uh, buffalo type monsters and the chicken type monsters in the same room because I've only had one of each. But I want to move Dandy here into a different room. So the monster barn, when you first build it, it comes with two rooms. We'll move Dandy to the left here. I think it's nice to have several rooms per monster barn. That way we can tame many different types of monsters and um, keep to our wish of just having one type of monster in each room. Yeah, I am. Um, I don't want the monsters to plant seeds. I'll do that myself. 
Well, maybe actually... Hmm... Maybe on the Earth Dragon, because that's only going to be fodder. Oh well. I'll um I'll just do the planting myself. Let's see Priscilla's heart event. I saw it over here by this gate. We are going this way anyway. What should I do? What's wrong, Priscilla? Um. Elsha asked me to forage for mushrooms in the forest. But going in there alone is kind of scary. Want me to tag along? Really? W would you? Yeah! No problem. Oh, okay. Um, thank you. So, do we need to go to the forest now? We could do that, and then... Tame some buffer moose later. Yeah, let's go see how this event continues. I think I want to tame another clockadoodle as well to get some more eggs. So are we going in here for the event? A mushroom. Perfect. What? Already? If we knew one was this close, you wouldn't have needed my help at all. No. I still would have, believe me. If I were by myself, I never could have set foot in this forest. How come? When I was little, I wandered off on my own and wound up getting hurt really badly ever since I've been afraid to go places alone. The weird thing is, I don't remember what happened or even how I got hurt. All I knew was that whenever I tried to go outside, my heart would race and I'd, I'd start shaking so hard I could barely stand. Oh, wow. But I want to get braver, so I've been practicing going out on my own. It's not going all that well so far, but someday I'm going to be brave enough to go on a journey all by myself. <laughs> You'll do it someday. I know you will. <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks. Thanks for coming with me today, Hazel. Um. Hey, Priscilla. If you're having trouble learning to face your fears, why don't you ask for input from other people? Talk to somebody who's good at being brave, and maybe they can give you some tips. Ooh, that's a great idea. I'll give that a try. No. That was very sweet. I wonder how that is going to continue. I guess we'll have to wait overnight to see. I hope we'll see more of that event tomorrow. Let's pick up these herbs as well. I'm going to try and befriend a couple more. Well, maybe one more clockadoodle for now. And then uh, two or three more of those. Those um, buffamoos. So I do need there, a lot there, of herbs. There, there. Brushing. Let's see if we can accomplish this. Nope. Hey, don't run away from me. I'm uh, trying to feed you. Come on, please. Don't be so difficult. <gasps> Just uh, stay put, okay? There we go. Nah, clock is... is, um... Okay. And we'll send you back to the barn. Because we do want to tame several more monsters over here. Let's go and see the buffamo. Were there any more mushrooms? Nope. I did read about the squirrel type monsters as well and apparently they like sticks or the um, branches so they should be very easy to tame and I think they produce fur or well um we'll see I do want to tame some of those two at some point. There, 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 and about the um the sharp claw that I was wondering where to get. Apparently pirate goblins drop those. Ah, oh, the uh, buffamoo is standing on top of the herbs so I can't pick them back up. Oh, same thing. I wish she wouldn't put them down like that.
there we go. Aw, Heather. Uh, okay. Not a name that I would have chosen, but fine. Poor Heather is uh, paralyzed. I'm sure it'll wear off. All right. There, you then. There, 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 there. So, there, there, I guess there, 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 we there, want there. to go after some pirate goblins at there, some point. There, there. And I did take a look at where the, where to find them, and um, I guess one good place is the uh, Bandit King's old base. So we'll go there at some point. See if we can get us some of those sharp claws. I think they were needed for a better pair of fighting gloves. Frank. Another name that I wouldn't have chosen, but... Due to the ridiculously small character limit, I'm just going to always go with the defaults. One more buffer move. I think we can have four monsters in one room. So that's why I'm going for four. And yeah, we'll see about that chuckadoodle over the next few days. Um, if it sometimes produces eggs and sometimes feathers, or if it just always produces feathers. There, there, we'll see. There, there. There, there. But one thing the internet was certain about is that the only creature in this game that produces milk is the Bafamu. There we go. That's our fourth Bafamu. Milk. All right. Again, not a name that I would have chosen, but fine. I guess that's all the buffer moves we want. Mm, let's go back to the Earth Dragon and see if we need to rearrange things in our monster barn. Nice! Nice! Yeah, we do need to send Heifer here to a different room. Y yes. Okay, Heifer, you're going to stay here. I wish I could make the monster barn a little more cozy for them. Oh, what kind of a monster do we want to put into that room? 
over there. At least four a day, even though I have seven monsters. I guess maybe it takes a while to update. We'll take a look tomorrow. So, there are several more kinds of monsters that I want to tame, but I think we could go for a cat next. We have some milk and cats like milk, right? There's this beautiful cat creature in the Garius grasslands. Super cute. Let's go there and see if we can tame it. I'm hoping it'll like milk. We'll see. We also have a treasure. Yes! Just some spider's thread. So these guys, the Meowlies, are the ones that I want at least one of. Let's just get rid of um, a couple of them and the gate. And then we'll see if we can tame there, this there. one. There, 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 there. There, 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 there. Yes. Oh, don't run away. I know that all monsters don't there, necessarily there, produce there, anything. There, 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 there. So uh, we'll see. I think the Meowlies there, might there. produce us some fur or there, something. There, 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 there. Are we done with the brushing already? There, there. I guess we are. Would you like some milk? It does like it, but um... We didn't have any luck yet. There we go. Yeah, Meow is just fine. Ooh, do we want some fairies? What do they like though? Hmm. Maybe we'll leave the Aiming there for today. Yeah, let's go and take Meow to the Terra Dragon. This is the dragon that we are going to farm on during the autumn here. Wow, there's a lot for us to clear. And 
and uh, you can stay here. I don't think it dropped anything for us yet. But uh, we'll see tomorrow. Maybe the uh, cat-like creatures don't drop anything. Ooh, I know what we want to put into the third room of the monster barn on our earth dragon. Woolies! They are super cute. And, uh, you know, kind of, uh, buffaloes and or cows. Plus, uh, chickens. Plus, sheep. Um, sorry. Nice, <laughs> sheep. Nice. Um, are kind of, um, usual bar animals. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, maybe we'll go catch some different colored woolies to put into that third room nice, on the, nice. of the monster bond that we have on the earth dragon. I have no idea what we want to have in addition to the cat-like monsters over All here, right. though. All right. I know there is one more cat-like monster in this game, and that is the Meow Ling right. that is found in Cloudheim. But I don't know if we want right. to go monster friend taming on Cloudheim yet. It might be a little bit too dangerous. All right, all right. Though maybe we could give it a try. We'll all right, see. All, all right. Nice, nice. Obviously, the Meow Ling, right. once we right. catch one, is going to live in the All same right. room with the Meow Li. We have been using quite a lot of yes. um, yes. lumber. Yes. So that's why I'm chopping down these stumps, even though nice. it is um, right. Typhoon Day and more are going to spawn. I just want to replenish right. our lumber stores a little while we're here and while right. we have all of this, all of these stumps like, um, under our nose over here. May as well chop them. All right, all right. Nice. I think that's going to be that, though. I know there were a couple more stumps over there, but... It's kind of getting late. And I do want to use up my RP before I go to bed. And the thing that I'm thinking of using my RP on is leveling up my forging skill. I think we once again have a lot of iron. So we can make more of those cheap hoes. And... Uh, See if we can get a level or two of forging out of it. There we go, I think that's 
all that goes in there. Yep. Let's go and see about possibly leveling up our forging skill. This recipe is great because it can be made using any kind of ore. Well, scrap metal doesn't count, but like um, any kind of ore. So um, we have a ton of iron, so we'll just be using it. Also, we don't really use iron or any recipes anymore. So, that's another reason why it's great for leveling up our forging skill. Because we know that we are not going to need it for anything else. Of course, we'll keep some in our storage anyway. We're not going to use all of it. But we can use a whole lot of it because uh, as I said we know that we won't be needing it for anything else. The cheap hoe is a very low level forging recipe though so it isn't going to provide us a whole lot of exp, but since we have so much iron, we may as well use that iron, kind of convert that iron to forging exp. Yeah, we still have plenty. Let's make another 31 of these. We don't have all that much of the other metals though, or ores. So we may want to consider going on a gold, silver, bronze um, hunt. Now oh, there's plenty more room in there. We can make more. Since we have the RP and we're about to go to bed, why not? skill level up. I think that was our second forging skill level up. Oops, didn't mean to do that. to go to bed so it doesn't really matter that we're going to take a little bit of HP damage from this. It'll heal while we sleep.
and let's sell those as well. We should really eat those, um, those things that give us H, I think HP, intelligence and strength bonuses. Let's do that. That'll free up some inventory space and increase our stats a little. So the protein. Delicious. Time to eat. And intelligencer. Delicious. Time to eat. And vital gummy. Time to eat. I think that was all of them. Let's save the game here and tomorrow we'll start um, planting some crops on the Terra Dragon. And hopefully we'll also be able to continue Priscilla's heart event. For now though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.